The Milbank bag, can it be improved? Let's find out today. So the mighty Milbank bag has been around for literally years. Used by British Armed Forces in the jungles of Belize to Brunei and around the globe, it really is an utterly bomb-proof, hard-wearing piece of equipment that quite literally has so little to go wrong, I'm not sure how someone could possibly update it. Oh. Oh. Comes in its own little uh, svelte packaging. Wow. Thank you so much for your order. Okay. Forest Fundamentals. Sticker. I'm just going to chuck it out there. Everyone loves a good sticker. And this is it. Okay, so first impressions are, off the bat, it's wider. It's obviously made of the same sort of stuff. It's a very durable, very tightly woven canvas. And this top piece up here where the logo sits is somewhat painted by something clearly very durable. What I'm loving about this, and I can see this is updated, is it has a much wider mouth. It's got that classic tapered cut so that the water has somewhere to drip from. And they've actually improved on the instructions simply by making the writing a little bit bigger. It has two very well presented, decent pressed stainless eyelets and the quality of the stitching appears to be very good. Easy to turn inside out with that wide mouth. Let's have a look at these side by side. The new one has a much longer bit of drawstring to play with, and it even comes with a teeny tiny carabiner, uh, which probably helps and assists with when you're, you're suspending this thing in the trees. When I look at the old one, one of the eyelets has ripped out. There's not very much cordage. It's actually pretty small, the mouth, which means you have to be incredibly delicate and careful when you're pouring. And the stitching appears to be very, very small. Um, that said, it's not failed. So in fairness, by comparison, this is, this is the bag I've been using and this is a couple of years old now and it's seen quite a bit of use. So I'm just uh, whizzing through the instructions here. It's pretty much as per standard what you'd expect with the process of using a meal bank bag. It's just light, nice to have it on this handy little crib sheet. One thing I've, I've read in the instructions which I'm quite impressed with is the reason for this svelte little waterproof bag is so that if you are stowing this after use inside your pack, it can go inside a waterproof bag which isn't going to contaminate everything in your pack. I really like that. They've gone that extra mile to provide you with one of these as well. And that's included in your 1495. So all in all, so far, thoroughly impressed. But how does it perform? Let's put it through its paces. So as you can see, I've found my, my sole primary water source. It's literally cut its way through the landscape, picking up all kinds of particles, detritus, and possible animal waste. You can see buildup of natural saponins and potential nasties in the water. So top tip is find some oxygenated water to begin the soaking process. And what I'm trying not to do is obviously disturb too much silt in the bottom of this little uh, pool and, and, and kind of make life even harder for myself. We need to just let this have a good soak and you can see from the off just how well that is holding and filtering already. I'm looking to get myself in a position where I'm able to actively collect this water as it's falling off the rocks before it hits the pool below. The top tip because this has got such a wide mouth, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to collect the water in. Once I've filled this to the brim, I'm going to need to get myself up and out of here and already have sight of the branch I'm aiming to tie this up to so I can start to collect the water in the vessel that I need to purify it in straight after. Let's go for it. That is a whopping amount of water that is holding already. I've got to now get myself up out of here and up to there as quickly as possible without coming a cropper. So 
If I wasn't already sure of what to do right now or I was having a bit of a mare, these easy to read instructions with that slightly larger font just makes life all the easier for me. Remember, top tip, never squeeze the bag. You'll open up the weave and allow partic particulates to get out. Using the two water bottle system, I have a dirty and a clean water bottle. If I wanted to collect more water than just this one 500 ml cup of tea, potential cup of tea, I would then put the water bottle under here, my dirty one, and collect from here to then repeat this process back up at the camp. So just to give you a bit more of a comparison between the, the old and the new, okay, this one's doing its job just fine here. This one is equally filtering beautifully, but in terms of being able to use that carabiner and having that extra lanyard means I could just quickly whip it round and tie it off on itself. This one I've had to go with exploiting the fact that there was a V in the end of this branch. And what I've had to do is improvise a toggle to pop between these two branches quickly. Um, that, you see that narrow mouth? There's not much to aim for when you're trying to pour back into this with a cup. Whereas this one has absolutely oodles of space for mistake, okay? So it minimizes the error or the loss in water. It's done a great job of filtering out much of the worst in the water already. And it looks pretty clear, but that doesn't mean it's safe. The Millbank bag is still the very first stage of making water safe to drink. It's an important stage, which is filtration. I can see particles and build up along the seam inside here already. And that's what it essentially has saved me from ending up in my cup, is all of that dirt and, and mud particles, etc. So when you finish collecting water, it really is as simple as unclipping it from its carabiner, emptying out whatever you don't need, placing your hand inside, turning it inside out. Okay, and you can see the amount of buildup just from its first ever go here. Any possible opportunity, I would have this on the outside of my pack or in full view of the sun in order for the UV light to carry on breaking down uh, and killing off any sort of protozoa, bacteria and nasties that are living on the, on the inside of this thing. Now having this little waterproof bag just gives me that added ability to fold this up while it's still wet, pop it away into its waterproof bag, and it can now live inside my kit, take it to wherever I'm going next, and I can use it again. Top tip would be to either dunk the bag into some boiling water, more hygienically pour some boiling water around and on the bag um, when you're moving from camp to camp. And of course the beauty is when you get home, you can just go through the washing machine. It's an incredibly durable piece of equipment that won't let you down. What they haven't done here is to completely reinvent the wheel. The crooks and the essence of the Millbank bag and the spirit of the Millbank bag is very much present in this new model. It's the same thing, it's doing the same thing. But the improvements show tenfold when it comes to actually using the thing and the simplicity and how easy it was for me to get down from the waterfall up to this point, quickly and efficiently hook it on and begin to use it instantly. Whereas this one, I had to faff around, find a little stick and employ a bit of mother nature's ergonomics in the form of these this twin branches in order to get this to, to stick. So for the wider mouth, for the price point, for the waterproof bag it comes with, the clear instructions, I think they've done a good job. I think they've met the brief and I think they have improved on something which is already very good. Mm -hmm.